Okay, gonna do a good old fashioned Target run. Looking for a uh, some NECA stuff. And then also uh, looking for some Masters of the Universe Origin stuff as well. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I was actually able to get a, a Keldor and a Cronus uh, uh, last night, which is pretty exciting. Still don't know if I'm going to uh, to open it, but um, I was pretty happy about that. And now I'm looking for a Ram Man, Clamp Champ, a few other guys, I think. But uh, looking for other stuff too. Looking for Joes. Okay, heard that there were GI Joes in this three-story Target. Okay, NECA Isles. Tiny Toons. Or sorry, Toonie Terrors. Tiny Toons. Um, always plenty of these. Always. Always, always, always. Uh, some Funkos. Dragon Ball Z. More Billie Eilish dolls. What? Those didn't sell out? What the hell? Jeez, that's a shocker of the year. Um, let's go over toy aisles if they have any masters of the universe <gasps> they do the two i was looking for ram man clamp champ this is a skull right here guys very exciting very very exciting so i'm gonna pick these up okay and get on my ebay app and flip away no just kidding uh but i am very very excited anything else here it's like these two were just like waiting for me for me i'm 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 super excited and uh what is this too is this some clearance wrestlemania clearance what for this andre and this macho man on the fence about this macho man but this andre this, and they have a few more Andres down here too. Uh, hmm. Should I? I don't know, guys. I'm 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 in inner conflict right now. I'm just so happy that I got that I got these two guys. But I feel like I don't care. I feel like I don't even care. Um. I'll decide that in a second. First, I want to see if they indeed have any G.I. Joes, because I think G.I. Joes are just a myth, okay? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're a myth. I, I I haven't seen them, I haven't seen them on, in the aisles in I don't know how long, so um, I'm convinced that, that they don't, they don't really exist. Everybody that's reviewing them, they're, uh, they're narcs, you know, they work for Hasbro. That's, I've come to that conclusion. So Green Lantern right here, uh, Robin, just looking at some DC shit. I know I'm going kind of all over the place. Joker. Eh, I'll save myself. Oh, Hot Rod. Hot Rod is always here. Always here. To, to, to... Oh, these are kind of cool. Mario Kart? What? Mario Kart Hot Wheels? If they did, who they have? Yoshi, Luigi, Peach. <sighs> If they did my guy, if they did my guy, um, shy guy, I'd maybe jump in. Maybe I'll ask the target dude. Okay, so as I'm leaving the, uh, where am I? The toy aisles. I hear this hubbub where this uh, dude is just talking to a, a target employee and he has in his hands a pile of keldor cronus the customer not the target employee like eight of them maybe 10 okay and i wanted to get one for my buddy i got one yesterday but i was like it's like what is going on here um and i guess the uh the target guy just sold it just sold it all to him just sold all of them okay hot item here man take eight of them so, uh, yeah, um, I guess, I guess screw my friend and screw anybody else who, uh, 
who's uh, trying to get one of those, how do you sell him eight? So then I actually go up to him and I'm like, I was just like, hey man, could I, could I buy one of those? And he's like, oh yeah, sorry man, I've been, I've been looking all over for these and for a while and this and that. It's like, yeah, but you're looking for one, right? <laughs> or, or two, and the target employee is standing right there. I was like, I was like, dude. So finally, I got it. I, I kind of had it, and I was like, uh, dude, you're gonna let him? You're gonna let him like buy all of these like right in front of you? He's like, yeah. There's nothing I can do. He's he's holding them now. He's like, yeah, but he hasn't checked out yet. Like, and he's like, yeah. I was like, all right. Well, keep on, I guess, doing you, and just selling ten of these to a flipper. Uh, where is this fucking dude? Also, right here. If you take a look, I think it's this cart. There's a flipper in action. This is sort of the model. The model flipper right here comes in eight o'clock, uh, buys everything, buys the all the Cronuses and the Keldors. I was trying to get one for my buddy. I got one yesterday, but uh, but yeah, I couldn't. Uh, sorry, buddy. Could you know this guy needed. Uh, I think you needed like 10 of them. <laughs> yep. And, and so he's, he's going in. He's like, okay, let me just check mint condition. Let me just make sure. Okay. Because, you know, selling them on eBay, it's easier if it's a uh, mint condition. I like to, when I saw all those Keldors, I was like, you getting all those? And he's like, yeah, man, I've been, uh, I've been tracking these for a while. And, uh, you know, I've been busting ass. Okay, this isn't a job, buddy. All right, you should have be busting ass to get bust ass to get your your own. And yeah, he's like, I was busting ass to get them. It's like, well, I mean, you, you drove around targets, okay? Um, other people are going to be busting ass now, and they're not going to be able to get them. So there he goes. He's gone. Flipper extraordinaire. Uh, ten, I think ten or like eight Keldors. All right, so I am back home. Um, before I go into the review of this Ram Man, I did want to address something. So uh, not too long ago, I did a Hordak statue review, Hordak Master Universe villain, in case you don't know. And I thought it went well. It was an interesting review. But some dude had the unmitigated gall to say, hey, man, stick to TMNT. Master of the Universe is not your thing. That's what he said to me. That's what I said. It's not my thing. It's not my thing, buddy. It's okay. What? Oh, what's what's this right here? What? What? What is? What is this? What is that? No, that's th those are Ninja Turtle figures, right? Because Master of the Universe is, is not my thing. It, it, it's it's so that's gotta be that's that's probably the the fucking uh, that's a Technodrome, right? And that's uh, uh that's the party wagon. Yeah, yeah, not my thing. Oh, and it keeps going, but it's it's not my thing. You know, it's it's uh, uh, got to be turtle. Oh, and right here, the, the turtle statues. Those have to be Ninja Turtle statues. That's uh, so. That's Casey Jones uh, in the middle, and he's lifting up his sword. And uh, that's uh, April uh, because they, they can't be Ninja Turtle figures because it's not my thing. It's not my thing. Don't you fucking say that. So check yourself. Understand. We are a jack of all trades in this channel. Master of the universe. TMNT. Okay, maybe Transformers one day. Who knows? But not my thing. Not my thing. It's a little bit of Mark Wahlberg. Hey, it's not my thing. Um, all right, so anyway, I'm done babbling. Let's go to the review. Okay, we're back. So we're taking a look at Ram Man and Clamp Champ. So truth be told, uh, my journey to Origins is... Uh, by the way, that room over there, the reason why I don't do a room tour is because it's a mess. It's a... It's become sort of like a storage room. Um, basically, the, the the short of it, if anybody cares, is I was supposed to move and everything in that room has been broken down. There's no real shelves other than the one you saw and everything is just willy nilly. Then the move didn't happen and everything just remained that way. So um, it's kind of all over the place. It's crap all over the floor, but I will, once I get my move into wherever we move to, probably do like a proper setup with detolfs and lighting and all that good stuff. So. That's what that was. Um, but to these guys right here, Ram Man and Clamp Champ. So here is a confession. So I was obviously very, very heavy in on classics. Um, I think I got all of them other than maybe like a handful. 
that I'm still kind of on the hunt for, but they're expensive as shit. Um, but I was not originally going to get into Origins. I was like, ah, I'm into classics. Classics are sculpted better. Why should I get into Origins? But as I saw more and more of them and I, and I felt them out of package and put them in my hands, I was like, wow, these are cool because they're so, so throwback to the original line. And, um, and then I just kind of got hooked on them. Uh, so this is actually the first time I'm ever going to be opening uh, origin figures. Though I have other ones. Um, I got that Keldor. I've got uh, the old Skeletor, the old He-Man, uh, Ninjor, a few other guys. But they're all in package, which is strange for me because I usually open everything. So these are going to be the first origins that I touch and feel and have in my hands. And I'm excited to do that. I know it's going to be the start of another addiction, which I do not want. I don't want to like these, but I feel like I will. But anyway, um, I'm going to open them up and then we'll see you there. All right, welcome back. So, um, banner moment for me. This is my, my first open Master of the Universe origin. I get that I'm late to the game. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start with Clamp Champ here. I'll uh, just read the bio. A master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, Clamp Champ is an invaluable ally in the fight against evil. So Clam Champ, obviously, hanging out with his buddy Fisto, and um, uh, this is, so here's what I like about Origins. Um, it's not trying to be classics. Uh, and, and this is just my, my general, just this is a gen, just a general impression. It's not trying to be classics. It's its own thing. It's kind of like a modernized throwback. And this, I think, perfectly encapsulates that. Um, it's, it's, it's got the same waist, the same sort of buck, the same kind of like, just, you know, the, the thighs and the loincloth and everything. And it's just a, it's, it's just a nice, I don't know, it's just like a nice solid figure. I, I think um, where it gets a bad rap is people kind of compare it to sort of more modern figures. It's obviously not supposed to be that. And um, I think it's fine. I think, you know, if you're a Master of the Universe fan of, fan of the 80s, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna like this. So um, just him in particular. So obviously, you have the armor here and the little clip on here that is indicative of the old one. And then a lot of the reused parts that you're, you you see in a lot of the origins, and again, very very much in theme with uh, with the the original line. Uh, the face sculpt's pretty cool. Um, I do like this one a little more, where he's kind of like angrier, just sort of I guess angry evil smile face. Um, but so I'll probably end up swapping swapping him out in terms of articulation. You know, you got the ball joint right here. You get the ball joint here. That's another thing is like, it's deceiving because it looks like the original, but then you have more articulation. You don't get double joints because it's just way too muscular. Reminds me of the uh, the uh, the famous handshake in Predator with the, with the muscular hands. Um, and then you get the, uh, so no, no double joint at the elbow, but you do get the swivel at the wrist and you get a joint at the wrist as well. And then you have tons of swivel in the waist. Um, and then you have the ball joint at the thighs. No double joint at the knees, but you get that much. And then you get the rock at the ankle and you get a boot cut as well. And in terms of accessories, you get this little, I, I, I always forget what this is called. I think this has a name, but this little clampy thing. And then you have the ultimate clamp where you can pull these, le these uh, red tongs back and then you hit that and boom, just clamp them to death right here. Do it again. He holds on to that one more time. Boom. So yeah, clamp champ, like him. On to Ram Man. Uh, I did Ram Man second because I'm not, I'm not in love with this Ram Man. Um, now you know I, I think it's. I mean, I'm conflicted because I because the the classics one is so cool that I might be comparing it and I shouldn't. I should not do that. Um, and I, I I also remember the '80s one was kind of a funny figure too. If you remember, it kind of compressed and then you hit the button and, and it sort of popped out. It was not a traditional. Masters of the Universe figure was different, and this is kind of like the same way. I mean, he has a different buck. He has different pieces than uh, than than pretty much everything else. Um, but I, I I don't know. I can't help. Maybe I'm being too critical. I mean, it's it's it it, it does look like the original '80s figure, so they did a good job there. But I just I I, I can't help but compare him to the massiveness of the uh, the classics version. But uh, I also don't love this head sculpt too much. I don't know if you guys can take a look at that. Um, so I actually might end up using this one, which is the battle damage uh, alternate head and just swapping that out. And you know what? I think if I do that already, I'll feel better about it. Um, also, by the way, heard some people were had like matte finishes on this instead of like the uh, the uh, the shiny uh, metal. So 
Uh, mine, I, I mean, I guess I got lucky with mine, but uh, mine seems seems like it's fine. Uh, so in terms of articulation, you're not going to get a lot. You're going to get some movement here. I mean, and it is plastic, so you know the the the, the it doesn't. I mean, it's weird. Like the the helmet piece, this piece can go over the metal, but it's like it looks strange. So it's like, why would you want it? And then these arms. These arms are very treacherous. They popped off already one time, but it is a ball joint. And then you get the uh, the single joint at the elbow, and you got the um, you got the swivel, and then the hinge here. Uh, but these arms, they popped off already twice on me. In terms of the waist, there is no waist. There's nothing. There's just the buck. And the next piece of articulation right right here is these these knees. I mean, you get a boot cut, and you get these knees. I mean, so you can kind of do that funny stance, but like you're not gonna get. I mean, the most you can get is kind of him like walking towards somebody, I guess, but. Not more than that. That's it. So, um, and then he comes with this, uh, this fist hand here. I don't know why they give him two fists. I kind of would have liked that, but oh well. And then in terms of his, um, his weapons, he's got this, uh, the double, the double axe and the single axe, and you can kind of have him dual wield. So, Ram Man's okay. I can't say I love it. I like the Clam Champ a lot more, but, um, so I'll probably swap him out. But that's it. I mean, all in all, Masters of the Universe, that. Masters of the Universe, or, oh, by the way, comes with this comic, too. Mini comic, if you remember, the 80s also came with comics. Battle Armor Reborn, and you can read it and go through all, all that good stuff. But um, in terms of Masters of the Universe Origins, will I continue? Yes, I will. I do like the idea. And by the way, these guys all look great together. That's the thing about, about Masters of the Universe. When you put them all together, they look fantastic. So, even though this one is like, eh, I think that that's an okay figure all together and it, 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 as a rank, it'll look, it'll look fucking sweet. So that's it. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm still in. So, uh, uh, Master Universe Origins, I'll keep picking them up. Um, New Wave, I think has a new evil in, I want to say Faker, I want to say New Merman and somebody else. Um, can't wait for my Scare Glow to come in and, um, uh, I do... Uh, uh, I am getting in a, a flock panther thanks to a very, very kind subscriber as well. Um, but that is all that I have right now. Um, so let us, let me know what you think about this. I know it's off brand. A lot of you guys are TMNT guys, but you know, why not both? You know, it's like the little gift, the little gift girl. Why not both? But comment, subscribe, uh, give us a like if you can, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.